Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the Hubson Zeno. We're gonna fly it, check it out on a cold, windy day, so stay tuned and let's see how it does. So before we get started, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and if you really want to support the channel, hit the join button down below. You'll see all the details. There are definitely some perks to joining the channel, so I hope you'll do so. So Hubson did send me this to evaluate. I did not buy it for full disclosure. Um, it's a good looking little drone. It's foldable, much like the Mavic uh, Pro. It unfolds in a sort of origami kind of way. You got to do the front legs first and then the back legs next. and it has a decent uh, look to it and a decent build quality. Now, one thing that it does have also is a three axis gimbal as well as uh, GPS built into it. I think it's on, gonna hit enter device, enter main interface, enter device, novice guide, all right. Thank you for all this information. Enter device. Not connected, it says. So I know this is on. Oh, there it is. I see the camera now. Um, oh, and there's no SD card in it. And it says weak GPS signal. So it probably needs a little bit of time to uh, capture all the satellites, just like any other drone does. Yeah, it's got 10 now. It says device status, weak, weak GPS. So the drone does have an SD card slot right here in the side that uh, I'm assuming I can just slip in. It looks like it goes in upside down, or at least with the pins facing up. All right, and it went in pretty easily, so that's, that's good news. I'm getting a little notification that says checking SD card speed. So it's probably just making sure this is gonna be a fast enough card to write to it. It says speed check passed. Find aircraft current device. Okay, let's do that. GPS accuracy test. Testing GPS accuracy. So again, this is my first time to fly it, so I'm having to do some setup stuff. Okay, it looks like the video is rolling now. There's my feet. So let's see if we can get it up in the air. All right, here we go. Okay. Up it goes. As I said, it's pretty windy today, so uh, I'm going to see how it's doing in that. It seems to be okay so far. Let's see if I can just bring it over here. Now, I'm going to be careful because it probably is not quite as accurate as I'm used to. Try to bring it in. I'm by myself today, so I don't have a, anybody to shoot with. So I don't think it has any sort of obstacle detection or avoidance, so I'm just going to try to keep it here in the middle. Okay, so I'm solo today by myself, so it's a little bit hard for me to fly and shoot at the same time, but one thing I'm noticing about this guy is it's all over the place. Uh, and I say all over the place, um, it's probably going up and down about five, five feet, six feet difference, and also moving uh, in a range of three or four feet for, from where it uh, started. And all I mean by that is that it's not as stable a GPS. It's got, um, it's got 16 satellites right now, and you can see how much higher it is now. It was down about three feet off the ground just a second ago. So the wind has actually died down a little bit too. But uh, yeah, it's just not quite the GPS hold that I am used to. There I am tilting the camera and letting go of the stick just to see how, uh, see how much it drifts. You can kind of see it drifting. Uh, you can see from the camera shot how much it's drifting. It's moved off of me now, and now it's going way down, and I'm not touching the stick at all. Look at how far it got down it's gone from where it was a moment ago. Now it's going back up. It's trying to hold, but it kind of seems to have a range of plus or minus six or eight feet. But I'm gonna just uh, see, I've got 65% battery, so I'm gonna go ahead and just tilt the camera up, and I'm gonna fly it over the football field and hope that uh, Hope that I don't have to go rescue it. So, I mean, from what I can tell on the phone, the image, the footage looks decent. It looks, uh, looks fairly stable. And 
and I'm currently 208 meters away, so what would that be about 600 feet away, and it's uh, got a fine signal. We'll flip it back around towards us and bring it back this way. I'm 30 meters in the air, or that'd be about 90 feet in the air, coming back towards us. It's also kind of, um, I can see the props in the shot. It's also a little bit like, um, it's not very snappy with its um, precision. Like when you, when you move the stick, uh, you see it a second later kind of react to uh, react to your input. It's a little lumbering is maybe a good word for it. I'm gonna bring it back down towards me here. Again, it's pretty windy today, so that, that may be having some impact on it. I would not try to hand catch this thing today. <laughs> Definitely not, uh, not quite as stable as I'd like. All right, here goes full yaw. And you can see it's not staying in one place as I do that. It's going up, which is not because of throttle. All right, now it's kind of locked in, now that it's uh, found the spot. Bring it back away from the camera. Whoa, the wind's blowing it towards the camera. So I'm gonna bring it over here. Take a, take a photo, like a little selfie. Let's see how that looks. So I'm not sure if it's tapped to focus, we stop the video and go ahead and take my picture. I think I take a picture. Switch it back to video and zip it over across the field real quick. A little bit higher. We go right over us here. Okay going against the wind, decent. Now I'll take it with the wind. It's not super fast in sport mode. All right, I'm gonna bring it over here and bring it in for a landing. I'm gonna switch it back to normal. Spin it around, bring it down. Like I said, I really wouldn't try to hand catch this thing with the, with the breeze the way it is today. All right, so I've got the Hubson Zeno out here. Uh, I've flown this about three times. Today's actually a nice day, but it's kind of windy, so I'm curious to see how it does in the wind. I'm gonna do a little bit of flying around in both sport and normal mode around the field here, as well as uh, roll some camera on it, and just kind of see how it does, and take a little more uh, time to investigate what all the app can do. Okay, so as I've noted before, this is a GPS drone, uh, so it should lock in place. I'm not touching the sticks right now, and it's actually doing pretty good. I'd say the wind is probably about between seven and 12 miles an hour out here today, and so it's holding in place. Gonna rotate it a little bit. Oh, it's going down on its own. I have noticed its altitude hold is not great. It tends to, it tends to uh, kind of bump up and down uh, even when you don't want it to. Now, the live stream quality from it is a little bit shaky. It's not terrible, but I can get an accurate test of its range because we're on a football field and we know that's 100 yards slash a little less than 100 meters. So I'm gonna take it all the way to the other side of the field, keeping line of sight on it, of course, and see, um, see at what point I start to lose the picture. So I'm still going, I still got a good signal from it. Boy, the wind is picking up too. Okay, I'm still 
Still seeing the video just fine, clear. I'd say it's probably 150 yards at this point. Um, wow, it's really fighting that wind up there. Oh goodness, that was not me. That is totally the wind uh, fighting that thing. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna switch it over to sport mode and see if I can get it back here. Yeah, I think it's too windy for me to be that high, um, that far away. I did switch it into sport mode and managed to uh, recover, but look how much it's angling when I let go of it. That's, it's just fighting that wind. It's going up. Okay, now it's kind of holding in one place. Now I was flying a Mavic a little earlier and uh, you know, in fairness, uh, the Mavic did fine. Uh, Gonna turn it around and bring it back over here. Now let's just give it a little try in, in sport mode. I'm just gonna kind of dash it around a little bit. This is uh, against the wind. This is, oh man, it, it started going down fast on its own. This is with the wind, or kind of with the wind. The wind's kind of sideways of it. Yeah, when you turn around and start going in, it dives pretty far. Let me go around that goalpost. Now I'm kind of fighting the wind here in sport mode. I'm gonna switch it back to normal mode. Yeah, boy, when you, look at it, look at how much it drops. When you turn it around, now I'm trying to go right and it cannot, it's not, I got the, stick full right against the wind and boy it's really fighting that wind okay it finally got after a minute it kind of tipped over enough to get it okay I'm gonna bring it down and land it boy that wind was really uh, affecting it I was trying to see how far I could go that direction, which with uh, Mavic is not a problem at all. You know, I've been able to fly quite a ways. Of course, AccuSync has a great range, but um, it didn't lose signal, which was good as far as the um, as far as the actual uh, transmission of video goes. But it just started acting really erratic over there, and because it was over the woods over there, and I don't want to lose it, I brought it back. Spin up the motors. Take off. Whoa, 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 that was, wow. I don't know what just happened. All right, maybe the legs weren't locked all the way. Not quite sure why that happened. I will say in fairness that maybe I didn't have all four legs locked completely. Maybe one of them had uh, been been uh, unlocked a little bit, so definitely something to check. All right, it seems to be doing okay now. Again, no hands on the stick, just uh, letting it hold there. The wind is pushing it a bit. Wind is pushing it down, wind is pushing it that way. It's holding okay though. All right, now I'm gonna just kind of cruise. Philip, if you wanna go backwards, I'll go towards you at a fairly slow speed. Yeah, and it does tend to dive a little bit as it goes forward. Look look at that, that's, that's a wind gust right there. You see it going down? Oh God, I had to save it there. That was not, that was just it going, diving down. All right, this is just in normal mode, not in sport mode. God, it's not liking that wind. See, I'm trying to go right now. It's not going right at all. It's not going right at all. It's just going, I'm going down. 
I'm on the ground. Wow, <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, you, you, uh, I'm gonna like go you lost control. I did, I did, I totally lost control. All right, so uh, I can tell you one thing. It's, it's uh, windy today, it's probably on uh, the low side, eight, nine miles an hour, and on the high side, 15 miles per hour um, in terms of the wind gusts. And this thing does not do well in that at all. It also doesn't do well when you rotate and start coming towards yourself or away from yourself fast. It kind of dives down when you, when you change direction and start moving forward and quickly, especially in sport mode, you just lose altitude. The uh, video transmission seems to be okay. I went, you know, about 150 feet, 150 meters away, and I didn't lose the video transmission. But uh, but the control, I was up, I'd say probably 30 feet in the air, which is not too high, and it just couldn't deal with the wind. It does not like wind. So if you live in a windy area, I would not buy this thing. And then finally, we had two situations where it just kind of um, went bizarre, uh, bonkers on us. One was where it we took off from the ground and it kind of went over and and uh, almost hit the camera. Uh, fortunately, we got it down quickly. And the other was where I just lost control of it and had to land it over on the other side of a building over there. A uh, small building, like a little shed, but just kind of out of the way. That was pretty scary. Um, I'm not a big fan. I gotta say, this thing has not impressed me. This is uh, maybe third or fourth time for me to actually fly it. And I have to say that um, I would not spend my money on this thing, especially considering the price and the hype. One other thing, if you do own one of these, or if you are getting one of these, make sure the arms are locked completely before you take off. It seemed like it would actually spin up with the arms not locked. Um, and in that case, you're gonna crash. As a matter of fact, let's test that real quick. So I just spun up the props normally. Now I'm gonna take this leg and just barely put it out of alignment. And I'm curious to see if the props will spin up now. Oh, they will. <laughs> I mashed that land button quickly. So guys, uh, this is pretty dangerous that it will spin up when the legs are not all the way in place. So if you're trying to fly this thing, uh, be sure you lock the legs in place before you actually take off. Um, I'll do a wrap up at home, but generally, I'm not a big fan. Okay, so I really wanted to like the Hubson Zeno, um, but unfortunately, I can't recommend it as a purchase. And there's a couple of reasons why. Um, while the footage was pretty decent when the gimbal was working uh, properly, the three axis gimbal, um, the quality was okay, but the gimbal acted erratically a number of times. It kind of, you could see either it was the drone or the gimbal just kind of freaking out and the picture goes all over the place, which was not a great assurance that your footage is gonna turn out well when that happens. Uh, number two, it doesn't do well in wind. When the wind is blowing, it moves all around. It kind of went up, down, left, right. It didn't stay in one place, even when locked into 16 satellites. And then finally, it just behaved very erratically. Um, as you can see from the video footage, there were two times that I totally lost control of it. Once where I crashed behind a building and once where I had to put it on the ground after I hit my tripod. So all that said, uh, I'm hoping that there is a reason for all this. I'm hoping maybe there was a software update that's happened or is going to happen that'll fix those things. But until that happens, I really can't recommend it. However, if you have a Xeno and you've flown it and you've been happy with it and it's done the job for you, please comment below. Or if you uh, have flown one and it had the same experience as me, also please comment below because I'd love to hear what your experience was with the Xeno. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos about drones, please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching.